how to integrate Shopify with Instagram. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I am going to show you how simple it is to integrate your Shopify store into your Instagram account. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to Shopify.com. Then you are going to simply to sign in for an account in this platform. Don't forget to add the product into your Shopify store. And then you are going to head over to settings, set up the payment methods. Uh, do not forget to set up the, uh, the checkout. For example, here, one, once you are on the payments, you are going to select one of the payments getaway. You can go ahead and activate whatever you want. I'm going to active uh, or activate this bogus for testing. You can go ahead and activate PayPal, Amazon Pay, and whatever. Do not forget also to set up the shipping and delivery rate there, rates. You're going to set up some rates for domestic uh, shipping, also international one. And after you have set that, you're going to head over your Facebook account. We need a Facebook account and an Instagram account that are linked into the same account. So. Basically, right there, we are on Facebook. I'm going to select here a page that I have. So we need a page that we have that is going to be here linked to an Instagram account. So you are going to see here all the profiles. I think that this page has an Instagram. I think that it has one, so it doesn't matter. We are going right there to the uh, uh, Shopify store. We are going to type in here Facebook. And from here, we are going to install the app of the Facebook and Instagram. If you don't see it right there, when you type in Facebook, naturally you are going to click on search Facebook in Shopify app store, and it will show up right there, the app here. So it is a famous app. So we are going to install it. Once you have installed the app, you are going right there to connect it to the uh, Facebook account that has the Instagram connection. So we are going to click on install and from there you're going to simply to wait for the Shopify to be there. I'm going to rather uh, pin up the app. So now we are going to click on get started and we are going to connect the Facebook account. As you can remark that we have Facebook only not Instagram yet. So we're going to click on continue or connect account. Select here the Facebook profile that you have. I'm going to click on continue. We are going to continue as Maxis, which is the name of my Facebook profile. So here we are going to see that we have the uh, some business portfolios. So I'm going basically to click on this one because it has, I think this, it has the Instagram account. So I'm going to select it. So here we are going to set up the data sharing preferences. We have the conservative, which is the minimum data that is going to be here collected from your meta pixel. We have the enhanced, which is going to be here. Half good, half uh, medium uh, data collected from the uh, behavior of your customers or the visitors of your store on Shopify. So we are going to get these information on any of these preferences to your pixel. So that will help you to set up the uh, ads or the campaigns that you are going to create. So the, the meta pixel will have an idea on how the behavior of your customers will be. So they will be uh, here uh, setting up the leads and getting or generating some quality leads that will uh, end up by buying things from your store. Also, we have the maximum, which is going to be here. Extract every single detail of the information to your meta pixel. So I'm going to use here enhanced, click on save. Here we have the data, as you can see sharing. So we are going to select one of the pixels that we have. I'm going to select here this pixel. Then we are going to agree to the terms and condition. So we are going to submit it for review. So here it is going to finalize the channel setup. And we can go ahead after that to run ads on Facebook and Instagram. So basically you are going to publish the uh, ads and also create a shop on your Facebook and also your Instagram page so that you're going to get some traffic. 
some leads and also some uh, purchases. But there we are going to wait for the channel to finalize the setting. So as you can see, we have the possibility to run ads on our Facebook and Instagram. Now for the product status, you are going to see here, make the products available to Facebook and Instagram. You're going to click on publish the products and select the product that you have or make sure that these products are active. So they could be here synchronized to your Facebook and Instagram page. So from here, I think we have everything done. So you can go ahead and click on create ad from this specific section, which is this, and it will open up here the Facebook uh, or the ads manager. So it is uh, the name of it is Meta Ads Manager. And since Instagram is going to be here a Meta app like just Facebook, you're going to have here the possibility to uh, create the ads uh, within Facebook and also Instagram, or you can go ahead and differentiate the um, uh, ads from Facebook or Instagram, uh, each one individually. So after we have did that, you're going to head over your Facebook page. So the page that we have the Instagram page with it, we're going to head over the meta business suit of it. So as you can see, it is going to be like this. This is the, uh, right there, the Instagram page and here we have the Facebook page. So basically when you are on the meta business suit, you're going to head over the left side of screen and select from here, all tools. So we have a hamburger menu. So it will drop here a, uh, here a big menu or a mega menu. As you can see, we're going to head over the commerce section. You are going to see it here either recently used or you're going to see it here and you're the sell products and services. You're going to select here and then it will open up normally the Shopify store of yours. So you are going to see here the Shopify store that we have. And here we are going to see the catalog from the items. And here we have the shops. So we are going to select from here the shops. And you are going to see here the sales channels. We have Instagram and we have Facebook. So you're going to click on view live shop, or you can go ahead and edit the shop. That is in case that you have already a, uh, right there, a shop going on. So this is for the Instagram and this is for the Facebook. So you are going to type in on Instagram, click on preview, and this is the shop that we have on Instagram. Now I'm going right there back to the app. So from here, when you click on shop, if you do not have a shop, you're going to click on create shop and it will only give you the opportunity to create only one shop for both of the sales channels. So remember to connect your Instagram account from the beginning, because here, if you have created only a Facebook shop and you didn't um, integrate Instagram, it is going to be a very hard right there step to set up the Instagram shop again. So I'm going to click on edit shop from here and let you see the, uh, the layout or the settings that we can have. So we are going to have here the home page. You can add a new home page by clicking on here, set up, for example, a collection, a product or an offer. So this is the preview of your shop. This is on Instagram. And you can go ahead and see the carousels, the nine dynamic products that you have, for example, right there, we're going to add some dynamically select products or manually products. You can add some featured collection. So I'm going to add this one, not enough visible products. So we can, you can go ahead and create another collection or add a new product from here. It is going to be here added or add new items, for example, from there. So I'm going to select this and maybe it is going to be this, that, and this one too. I'm going to click on confirm. So we are going to uh, type in a name or a valid name like Vido shop, for example, I, I don't know. So we are going only to set those, these four products. We're going to add them. 
and here you need to set up the checkout of your account so i think that i have already set up the checkout because i have added the shop pay i think it is going to be integrated like that also add your information about your credit card and etc so here we have the uh, as you can see the suggested this is uh, a produ uh, producted by meta so you are going to see here everything for the settings you can see here the inventory the tagged content the website content the feature using ai so we have some categories also we can create some automation right there so you can go ahead and publish the updates or exit the builder just like that for the catalog you're going to see here the uh, as you can see the items the sets the data sources the events that uh, your um, pixel has uh, registered and etc and do not forget about the promotions that you're going to add here because you're going to get the uh whether the um complicity and also the trust of the clients after you have set up some offers so you are going to add an offer right there and you're going to either add from a data feed or a manual here we have the uh the commerce manager as you can see we have been this whole time navigating through it so we can go ahead and create an ad from here add the products you can see the advantage plus catalog ads and get the benefits of it uh, here we have the insights we have the settings and this is how we can go ahead and set up everything so on our shopify store we only need to install this facebook and instagram app so we are going to connect our facebook page and instagram account that are linked together to this specific one so we are going only to run some ads right there and that is it so that uh, that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one